Welcome to DNT Tube's quick guide to 20th century design movements, fashions of the last hundred years. Let's get started. Arts and Crafts was founded by William Morris around 1885 and ran until 1900. William Morris did not like the Industrial Revolution and was keen to return to traditional craftsmanship. He and his fellow designers took inspiration from medieval art and architecture, as well as Celtic and folk art. Moving on to Art Nouveau, which was most popular between 1890 and 1910. Art Nouveau was an attempt to create a new luxury style after a century of copying Greek and Roman architecture. It was inspired by nature and features curved lines and whiplash curls prominently. Key designers were Louis Comfort Tiffany, Charles Rennie Mackintosh, and Alfonso Moucha. Art Nouveau came to an abrupt halt with the start of World War I in 1914. After the war, a new direction was needed, which came in the form of the Bauhaus Art School. Founded by Walter Gropius in 1919, the Bauhaus rejected the decorative styles of the past in favor of a modern design philosophy focused on new materials and embracing industrialization. Key to the new design style was the concept that form follows function. At the same time as the Bauhaus was embracing industrialization, Art Deco was focusing on the needs of the wealthy. In 1922, Tutankhamun's tomb and his treasures were discovered in Egypt. This discovery rocked the world and inspired a new luxury style based upon the use of geometry and bold shapes. Key designers were William van Allen, designer of the Chrysler Building, and artists such as René Lalique and Tamara de Lempica. America was fast becoming the richest country in the world, and the population had a lot of money to spend on luxury goods. American streamlining was born out of this desire to spend. Between 1928 and 1955, this offshoot of Art Deco embraced modernity and industrial design to sell objects such as the Coca-Cola bottle, redesigned by Raymond Lowy in 1954. Back in Europe, designers were trying to create a better society. There was no money for ornamentation, and vast areas of cities and towns needed rebuilding after the wars. Modernism, with its focus on less is more, was often cheaper to build and maintain, and many buildings in the modernist style appeared across Europe. Postmodernism rejected the idea that less is more. Designers, such as Ron Arad, and groups such as Memphis, used decorative elements to enhance their products. Key features in postmodern design, such as bright-coloured geometric shapes and use of new materials, especially plastics, resulted in the creation of odd, absurd-looking designs. Thank you for watching. Now go to DNT Tube and select playlists to find out more.